Okay, what we're looking at now is task number nine, which is called the for loop, F-O-R loop. So we jump over to the PDF here on page 20. Now, this is the code that we've been using so far. So you start with a variable, which is I, and you set it at one, and then you do your task, and then you add to one, and if it's not up to 25 yet, you go back and do the task again until you count it up to 25. And that's all well and good. But this is the sort of thing you use a lot in programming, so this programming language has something that lets you do a shortcut for it. So, for i, 1 to 24, write the value of i and end the 4. So, that's think of the 4 as the opening and closing. So, that's the 4, that's the end of the 4. So, we're just going to throw that over into our compiler and have a look at it. And it will, from num from i going from 1 to 24, it's going to write what the value of i is and then it'll end once it gets to 24. So my guess is it's going to write the numbers 1 through to 24 down and then stop. There we go. So numbers 1, oh yep, 1 through to 24 and then it stopped. So all good. So jumping back to the tutorial. So now it's saying for 1 to 24, step 2. So what that means is that instead of jumping forward by 1, which is what it would expect, step by 2, so it's going to go from 1 to 3 to 5, because it's going to take two steps instead of 1. So let's run that code. Okay, 1 to 3 to 5 to 7. So let's say you only want to, you know, look at every fifth number. You could say, you know, all the numbers 5, 10, 15, 20, all the way up to 100. So if you're wanting to count those numbers, what you do is you'd say, well, I'm jumping by 5. I'm jumping by 5, all the way up to 100. And, yep, so i equals 1 to 100, step by 5, write the numbers, let's run the program. So it should give me 5, 10, oh, it doesn't actually, it gives me 1, 6, 96. So if I wanted it, let's try it from 0 to 100. Let's run our code again. There we go, 0, 5, 10, all the way up to 100. So that is that is the for loop. So for as, for, from here to there, and what we could also do, oh, we can also count backwards. Actually, what I might do is show you this trick. So, so we'll jump, grab that code. So I'm going to step backwards, so it's going to be minus 1. So instead of being minus 1, I'm going to say minus 5. So, for 100, down to 0, step down by 5s, write the number. So it should count down from 100, but let's have a look. There we go, 195 all the way down to 0. So, the two things that we've learned here is that you can set a for loop, saying for this sequence of numbers from here to there. Um, do this and the other thing that we've learned is that we can step and we can step multiples like 5 and we can step backwards. So let's actually say that I'm counting from 200 to 150. You don't have to go all the way back to 0. You know, you can count anywhere in a sequence. So let's run this. There we go, 200, 195, all the way down to 150. So there you go. I'd be interested to see what your example looks like.